Hello again everyone. We are looking at here an Asus G60V which has overheating issues. Now these model laptops are very well known for having overheating issues. This could also be the model G60VX. But again, these are well known for having overheating issues. Now there are many YouTube videos around showing how to do the repair on this. Uh, some of them require, you know, mesh wiring and such, but I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways to do it. Now here's one model that has a speaker in this, in this slot shown here. The model that I'm doing does not. Underneath this slot is actually your CPU fan, which is really bad by ASUS because it causes, there's no intake holes or anything for the fans, so it's causing overheating. Uh, anybody that owns one of these laptops knows exactly what I'm talking about. So, uh, you know, you'll definitely have uh, overheating issues with this computer. So we're going to make this a really simple modification to this. No need for the wire mesh. Just all we need is a simple drill, a drill bit, and a Dremel tool. So once I have simply just removed the back panel off of the laptop, I'm just going to take my drill and I'm going to start off with a smaller drill bit. And I'm just going to kind of go around and sort of randomly put small, drill small holes into this back plate. Now notice how I'm staying a fair distance away from that uh, silver looking strip around the, the circle. Uh, I am staying away from that a bit because I'm going to be actually using a larger drill bit. I'm just drilling what I like to call pilot holes first to get things started. And this will give you an idea because I want to have some type of uniformity by the time I'm done. I want it to look at least halfway decent. Uh, you know, really, in all honesty, who cares how it looks because it's on the bottom of the laptop, but you don't want it to look trashy. And you know, some type of, some type of uniformity would help a lot here. So kind of doing it like this, starting off with the smaller bit and then going back around with the larger one and kind of trading off every now and then. So what I don't want to do is have two holes touching each other because then I'll make, you know, one larger hole. We don't want to make holes so big that, you know, an item, something can like stick through it and, and jam your fan. So I would say holes no wider than what I'm showing here would suffice. I started in the center and then I did one on either side, right and left, one top and bottom, and just kind of did ones in between just to get things started. But once we see kind of where we stand with this first initial drilling here, then I go back with my smaller bit. And now I kind of have a good idea of the distance that I need to stay apart. And we'll just drill us several holes like so. Now the reason why this laptop overheats is because up underneath this area that we're drilling is the CPU processor fan. There are two vents for the air to exit on the laptop, but there is nowhere for this air to be drawn in. So, except for some small vents. So doing this corrected the problem completely. The laptop's able to breathe much, much better. But you can see here, really not much to it. Really simple, a really simple mod easy to do not a lot of work involved I think I had this done in in about a half an hour start to finish because we're going to touch it up here once I get these holes drilled in here I'll show you how we do that and notice here you know I don't want to drill any more holes than I need to once I get to this point, I'm able to tell, you know, a few more places where I could probably drill a hole. 
so we'll just finish up with, with the last few bits. Go back with the bigger one. And that's all it takes. Now we have a little bit of a mess here. This isn't a clean job. I mean, it's a bit messy. And now at this point, there'll be a wire, sort of a, a mesh material that, that's on this that we can just peel right off. So I found that mesh material we really don't need. Um, we can actually just peel it right off now. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just for cosmetics. It actually looks better with it off. But you'll see here we have uh, some, some plastic burrs that are sticking up everywhere. We're going to have to get rid of those because the key is you don't want any of this falling into your laptop. But here's the, the plastic mesh I was talking about. We can just kind of peel it off. It comes right off. Don't really need it. Gets in the way. Like I say, it's just for cosmetic purposes. So just feel free to pull that off with no worries. All right, but we're stuck with having to deal with these burrs here. So what I like to use is my Dremel tool with, with, uh, with a shaving bit on the end. And we'll just, <laughs> pretty simple, just fire it up and go along and just kind of kind of shave down these edges, knock, knock off these burrs, clean it up. Not hard to do, piece of cake. So we're gonna uh, go around the bottom side first, I would recommend. And then from that point, you know, once you get it pretty smooth and all the burrs out of the way, I think you could blast it with some air to be sure there's nothing, uh, no loose particles, no loose plastics sitting around. And then you can flip it over after you're done on this side. And you can kind of hollow out the holes and wallow out the holes on the other side and get it nice and smooth. Doesn't take too long. Doesn't look too bad. It's the bottom of the laptop. So really, how much time do you really want to spend on this? We'll just go ahead and once we got that, and everything's to our satisfaction. We want to be sure that there's no pieces that are going to fall into the laptop or into that fan. All we do is just now place it back on, place our cover back on. And, um, and now this laptop will breathe much, much better. Uh, take my word for it. Easiest mod to do on this quickest, simplest way. Okay, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my video here. Please rate and subscribe. I'm Tim from timscomputerfix.net here in Savannah, Georgia. If you're ever in need of a computer repair, please look me up if you're in my area. So thanks for watching my video, and until next time, everyone, see you soon.